I'm currently in January 2024 editing this back. I've been meaning to get it on the channel for so long, but I delayed it because it's a long story time, so it's a lot of editing for me. Anyhow, enjoy it. It's a good story, but the thing is the story time happened in 2019. It's like so far removed from me now, but it's really funny. In 2019, I drove out to this guy and then in 2022, like technically I drove out to him. It was more of like I had to drive myself like back home because he like drove out. <laughs> but that's like a separate video that I already did a story on. I never did the very first time that I drove out to him, so enjoy hey you guys we're just gonna be eating some pink cotton candy ice cream as it's melting i try to find a shady spot because <laughs> no the story time is not shady i do have a story time i feel like i've been owing you guys on the channel i don't know why i picked ice cream because it's really hot outside so we're gonna try to eat and tell the story as we go but the ice cream is so good i've been meaning to tell the story so let's get into it I could have gotten away with not sharing the story, but I was like wanting to talk about it for so long because it's kind of an iconic story that happened in my life. There was this guy I was really into on and off for a long period of a time, and that was his nickname on the channel, College Crush. It used to be Dreams Dude because I used to have a lot of weird dreams about him a few years back. The worst part about editing this video today, I had a dream about him last night. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I swear on my life, like, I've healed. Like, I'm not interested anymore. And it's like, why? <laughs> like, I'm not interested. I changed it to College Crush because my dreams collection stopped, which was a clothing line on Amazon I used to have. And then, honestly, College Crush made more sense as a nickname because he was, like, my, like, crush in college, honestly. Like, a college love, if you will. Yes, I did date a guy before College Crush from... <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie student government um but it was like so short-lived i think even being on student government and being like vp like having a high role i like didn't like want to be in the public eye with like dating life i'm just naturally like a private person but i didn't want my love life to be out there just like with professionalism and that's just also just like my personality i'm actually typically pretty private i share stories here and there but i never go like too into things i'm just a private person even like with my family and friends recently i've been like more private and it's really nice privacy is bliss obviously like my rider dies like my girls i'm gonna like share like the tea go in depth about real stuff and they know like the names of the boys but that's kind of it i'm just naturally really private i meant like college crush and then i'll be honest like quarantine boy was also kind of like another college lover the college crush was like that first crush i had in college like he noticed me when i was vp and i remember at the time when i was vp i was like oh how romantic would it be for like a boy to notice me besides the one guy in student government i dated that didn't work out i was like eh, no one really notices me or because i didn't really notice anyone you know at the time because i was like single and not really meeting anyone. I love how not much has changed and I'm still single and not meeting anyone. I feel like you just go through those times of your life. You meet someone and you date. Other times you're in a break period and that's how it was at that time. There was multiple times of my dating life though that I definitely had long breaks and that was one. There was other ones in between from 2019 to now and then now I'm definitely on another dating break again. College Crush noticed me and I loved that honestly. College Crush wasn't typically somebody I'd go for. He had like tattoos. He looked a little bit older. He's only a year apart from me is the irony. I'm 24, he's 25. Now that this video is being uploaded so late, I am 25 and he's 26. But no, we don't talk anymore. The last time we talked was around the time I filmed the video and that's why I filmed it for closure. At the time, I was 20, he was 21. This is in 2019, I'm gonna preference that. And we were really young when this story time like had happened. But I'm just giving a little bit of backstory. We met um, at a banquet that I was invited to. Honestly, when I first saw him, he didn't really like catch my eye i didn't really think he was that attractive honestly but then like two seconds later because i didn't think he was attractive that kind of lingered like in my head and then i like looked over at him and was like wait i kind of like his presence his energy i like his face his eyes are beautiful then i was like he actually is kind of attractive is like what i was thinking at the time you know what i mean but then i was like wait he looked like a guy who like rejected me and the irony was that was dq boy and the funny part was when college crush and i didn't work out i ended up dating dq boy but they kind of looked alike at the time and I'm not good at remembering names right away. So I was like, I swear if that's DQ boy, cause DQ boy, like I thought at the time rejected me cause he never called me. And then it just turned out he gave the wrong number on accident. It was like the whole thing with like my second ex DQ boy. But anyways, with college crush, I thought he was originally DQ boy or college crush. College crush like felt like my energy and could tell like she's mad at me for whatever reason. <laughs> Poor guy, I just didn't even know who he was. I go up to him being like, hey, so where do you work? I was just like to the point. I didn't say hi. I didn't say I'm Melanie, the VP. I mean, I could have been like that. And he would have been like, I know. Ha <laughs> ha. 
but I didn't say like any of that. I just was like, hey, so where do you work? Oh, even before I said that, I pulled him away from the group too. Like, hey, let's chat. And he's thinking like, what's the stranger like doing? It's probably honestly what College Crush was thinking. And so I just pull him. I was like, so where do you work? And he's thinking like, wow, this woman is like right to the point. <laughs> I mean, honestly, he probably was because I really was. Like, I don't like waste time. If I'm thinking something, I'm gonna say it. I'm just like that kind of person. I do feel like there's times where like I hold back, but I don't know, maybe just from his energy, he just seemed like the type where I could be up front. I just felt good about it. I'm thinking if he says like DQ, like I swear it's the guy that rejected me and he said somewhere else and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, oh, never mind. That's cool. It was really funny. I was like, what? Okay, nice. It was really raining after this banquet was ending. College Crush was like, I'm gonna run and get you an umbrella. And I was like, um, you don't have to. I'm used to the rain. I've been here all my life. He like zooms out. I'm like, okay. I'm like, what's this guy doing? Brings back an umbrella. Really sweet of him. I don't even think I used it. It was like more for like just in case and he did get the umbrella back at a later time Well, the real tea is because I don't know how to close umbrellas. I know like this is embarrassing I didn't want to ruin his umbrella and I didn't want to embarrass myself in front of a cute guy being like I don't know how to do it. That was why I never used it But I am used to the rain being like an Oregonian like he was from Washington. So well Washington has rain too <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyways, Oregon has the most amount of rain. I would think honestly He drives like this car guys that have cool cars. I'm kind of like hmm. I'll be like more flirtatious He I thought already had left because he was like i'm gonna go and i was like okay hey, bye after he like gave me his umbrella and it turned out he was waiting to make sure i left safely and i was like wow what a guy cares about my safety no but it was sweet and so i walk out with some friends i had made actually met quarantine boy that same day as well officially technically quarantine boy and i met at a time before college crush comes out of nowhere and i'm like ooh, i'm like oh so you drive so i go up to like his window seal and put like my arm on it it was kind of you know like the classic like flirty and then i was like oh cool and then i had to get back to the college that day because i wasn't doing too well unfortunately i withdrew at the time from my classes i did it right before i finished vp well because i really wanted vp like on my resume honestly and i worked hard and i tried my best with the classes but at the time i had a professor that was just really difficult it was like a weird conjoined class i was in and i was worried how my transcript was gonna look because one of the profs was okay with passing me but the other wanted to fail me so i just like withdrew to play it safe if they both would have passed me i would have kept the classes it was just too bad circumstances i was dealing with at the time my dad had struggled with health stuff this whole story gets like crazy in general because at the time later that day i had a student government bank Quit. at the time i was still like good friends with my first ex and i probably would have gotten back with my first ex had i not met college crush because i remembered around that time i was like kind of debating it and i met college crush and changed my mind which like oh my gosh like if i go back in time like would i even change all of that i don't know my first ex was a good guy but it just like our compatibility wasn't there anymore he always treated me with so much love and respect that was why at the time i had wade like back together not you know because compatibility wasn't there but how he treated me was great but then i just like met someone new that i was just curious about now i'm lonely so I don't know if I should have like chose my ex over like college crush because like I don't even know if that would have changed anything honestly because like my first ex and I I always had feared if we would have got back together we would have jumped into our old problems and I think we would have I think like looking back it was still the best even if it didn't work out with college crush anyhow that's some tea my ex was helping taking some photos for me but before that had happened met up with college crush in the library he offered to buy me coffee which I thought was sweet I was like oh a man that drinks coffee we actually had like the same order at the time it was like a hot white chocolate mocha he would get almond milk I would not so I told him about my allergy. Looked into his eyes and I just was like, oh my gosh, he has beautiful eyes. But I was like, I think I could be honest with this guy. Something about the way he looked at me was like gleaming. And I like trusted him like really early on, like the first day I met College Crush, honestly. And that was why I felt like when I really like hit it off, we both like had trust in each other really early on. I remember being like, I can't put up like this like fake front of like why I asked where he worked and everything. And I'm like, I don't know if he likes me or not. And I'm like, I don't even know why I like him. <laughs> like I was like, what's wrong with me? He just didn't seem like my typical type. He was kind of manly looking just different than what i would go i go for like the young kind of like justin bieber hair look kind of boy he kind of had like that hair but like his face complexion was very like country looking very manly different not like he wasn't cute because i thought he was but it was just different than what i had typically went for in the past even my friends even my girls will be like yeah you typically don't like boys like that kind of look i'm like i know right <laughs> no even my childhood best friends are like yeah <laughs> no like they were literally like mel this guy is like typically not your type i'm like i know i mean at the end of the day it's really just about personality I feel like that's just what it goes to show. That's what I've learned being an adult. When I was in high school, I'd always be like, you gotta be cute or like, no. But I feel like the older I've become, like I've really had to appreciate the personality. And that's important. At the end of the day, you wanna be with someone that has a good heart, right? I look into like College Crush's eyes and I'm like, hey, like, can I tell you something? We were starting to open up about like life and stuff. And he was like, yeah, sure. And then I told him the honest truth about the reason why I asked about your job is because I thought you reminded me of someone. Rejected me that I thought was really cute. And then after like that came out of my mouth, I was like, 
I was trying to make it like, oh, I thought this other guy was cute, not college crush, because that was me trying to like hide the fact. I remembered being like, what did I just say? I remember just being like, did I just say this guy was cute without saying he was cute? I was like, I totally said that. And then he was like, stunned, quiet. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what did I just do? I'm like, I thought I played it so cool. I'm like, what is going on? He was quiet for a bit. And I'm like, shoot. I'm like, I'm going to get rejected. I'm like, you know what? He's not even that cute anyways. I'm like, you know, let's just have it. Come on, reject me, boy. I was like, let's go. I'm ready to get this done. And then he ends up doing the polar opposite and was like, um, I have a confession to make. And I was like, what? He was like, I've actually had a crush on you for a little bit. And I'm like, what? I'm like, you don't even know me. He's like, I I've seen you around school though at events and stuff because he would like work for the paper he would do like press stuff and he would just like hide and look at me but he'd be too shy to talk to me and i'm like what are you talking about and he was like oh at one of the events like i knew exactly what you wore i was like yeah right i'm like what did i wear the answer was all white pretty obvious and easy but i was just like if he really likes me i don't know and he said you were all white and i was like i was like oh wow you actually have had a crush on me i was like what i was like i didn't even know you existed <laughs> And it's so funny because that particular day too, I remember like at the festival, I was looking for a guy to like take to the dance later. Had I known someone had a crush on me, I would have jumped on it. I don't know. No, I think maybe. I would have saw he had a press pass and been like, oh, he's cool. Because typically like if it's a guy I don't know, I get kind of like nervous. But like I worked with people on the newspaper even in Sunga. I probably would have been fine with it, honestly. And been like, hey, you know, you free later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my flirting is terrible. After the student government banquet that night, college crush quarantine boy and another guy in a friend group went to this other festival and that was a lot of fun, I remember. And then the car ride at the time after like we dropped off our other friend was just me, college crush and quarantine boy was in the back seat. And it's so funny because at the time, like with my dad going through some health stuff, I kind of was just like spacing out. I remembered the car was oddly quiet. I mean, both boys thought I was cute and I ended up dating both of them at different times. So it kind of made sense. But at the time, I didn't think anything Thing of it. I'm like, why is it so quiet in the car? I'm like, oh, they both think I'm cute. I'm the problem. I feel like that was really it, honestly, because some tea that quarantine boy filled me in later on, both of those boys were waiting for me. We were all friends to start with. That's the thing, you guys, finishing up with the ASG banquet. And it's funny because at that point, my first ex had already left. College crush made it very clear to quarantine boy, like, hey, I'm into this girl. And quarantine boy was like really sweet and respectful of it. He's not like one of those types. Quarantine boy is like a golden retriever. He's not like one of those macho type of guys. He's a little bit more like my type, like looks wise, young preppy kind of yeah quarantine boy was just opposite personality of college crush college crush was really like outgoing and out there quarantine boy was like shy to himself sometimes i'm a mix of like both of their personalities and i think that was why i liked them both at different times in my life quarantine boy was like really respectful and cool about it and like didn't try to do anything which i really appreciated and i remember being like wow what a guy when i found out that information later i appreciated quarantine boy like giving me that chance to explore that connection with college crush not interfering and then you know college crush and i didn't work out and then like quarantine boy and i had a chance and it was natural and it was never like this fight with me and so i did appreciate that it's just funny how i ended up dating both those guys at different times multiple times at different times too oh so terrible you know in my defense i was hoping one of them wanted to like end up with me be in a relationship with me and then that didn't work out that's why it's all said and done now but yeah this is like my tell-all because this is kind of the last of college crush and even quarantine boy i kind of forgot he was a little bit like in the story too because we were all friends you know before dating <laughs> either one of them <laughs> after quarantine boy got dropped off then college crush was talking up a storm uh-huh mr talkative oh uh -huh. So we still hung out and talked. He wanted to kiss me that night of, and I was like, whoa. I was like, I don't really know you that well. Well, Trush was sweet. He did take it really slow with me. One time him and I went on like a pool date. I just let him kiss me on the cheek and he was respectful about that. But then finally him and I went out to the movies. We ended up kissing after the movies. That was like the first kiss. After Kyle Trush and I had our first kiss, I realized like I really liked him and wanted him to know I really liked him. I drove out of state for a boy twice technicality even though that's a separate story time go watch my buffalo wild wings muke bang because i talk about like the vancouver story time the first time around i had to go to like a city further a little bit from vancouver kind of in the middle of nowhere so it's like a smaller town because vancouver is like a bigger city so that's a whole separate video if you want to go watch that one day i was like you know what i'm gonna drive out of the state i'm gonna do it i want to show college crush i like him i got on the freeway went to his place i was literally because i had a gps like texting him being like i'm 30 minutes away and i was like panicked i was there of course during rush hour and scared of anxiety i turned on charlie pew he's my favorite musician then i felt like so much better i love charlie Mwah, charlie charlie just had a concert and in the past i would have totally went and i'm so sad he like won't 
come out to Oregon. I drive out of state. I come to his place. Apparently later on College Crush told me that his siblings knew that he changed three times for me and he was nervous because I kind of was like College Crush had like a hard time like confessing his feelings for me at the time. That's just like kind of how the guy he was. You guys have a hard time with like feelings I think naturally. They're just not always like mushy but it depends. Some guys are. And I can understand he wouldn't like say that he like had really loved it or he wasn't like super mushy so I was kind of worried oh no was this too big of a gesture. When I ended up being in Florida I was like did he even want me to be there? Da -da -da -da, texting you know. And he was like yes like my siblings knew I was changing multiple times and it was this whole thing and it was cute. At the time I drive out to him in Washington. He was like playing with like his siblings which I thought was cute that he had a special bond with his brother and sister and his family was lovely by the way but I didn't know I was gonna meet all of them. I'm like what do we do? He's like there's not really much to do. He's like you can meet my family. I'm like are you sure? Are you okay with that? Because his siblings I could tell were a little shy. He's like yeah sure you're good. So he introduced me to them because then I was kind of shy. They were really sweet. They asked a lot of questions. I met his mom as well and his mom could tell I had a big crush which at the time I was all like oh yeah hi I'm like you know college crush's friend and I could tell she was kind of looking at me like uh-huh yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. you know how like mothers look over their sons it's cute but you know I was like oh no everyone was so sweet super nice even met his grandma she was such a gem I hope she's doing well loved her she was like oh I hope I see you again never did but she was so sweet oh my gosh college crush and I shared a moment at this park and kissed and it was cute and then I went back home and then I went to Florida we would text and call here and there but I had like different time zone at the time when I was visiting my grandparents. I also was scared to get into a relationship. I was so young. Keep in mind again, I was 20 years old <laughs> and he was 21. I think looking back, him and I were both scared. We were both too young. We were in our early 20s. Granted, we're in our mid 20s now and it never worked out, period. It is what it is. Just when we were younger, it was harder, I think, no matter what. Eventually, it was in Ohio. Him and I got into a miscommunication and then it didn't work out. So then we stuck to being friends and then I was kind of sad. So I ended up dating DQ Boy because I realized DQ Boy wanted a shot with me. I didn't let myself heal for the whole college crush thing at the time. But Quarantine Boy and I also got like really close. I ended up dating Quarantine Boy after DQ Boy, so. But at the time, College Crush was closer friends with the other guy and they had confided in each other. I was like, I need a friend to confide into and I didn't know I was gonna ever date Quarantine Boy. I felt bad talking about like College Crush to him as much as I had. Quarantine Boy and I established that friendship. Quarantine Boy and I realistically had more time spent together than College Crush and I did, honestly. College Crush ended up moving away for university. Quarantine Boy moved away a little bit, but he'd come back. We just had more time together. I would like confide in like Quarantine Boy being like, don't tell, but I dated College Crush. And then eventually on accident when quarantine boy and I like after we were done dating I told college crush I dated quarantine boy <laughs> And I was like, no. It was funny because QB and I stayed friends. I ended up telling him. And he was like, Melanie. And I was like, I didn't mean to. I'm like, hey. I'm like, I kept a secret for two years. I'm like, you know, give me some credit. I'm like, also in my defense, I didn't mean to share it. It just came out. Because <laughs> at that point later on, College Crush and I were catching up. And just naturally, like me being an honest person, it just came out that I dated QB. The past is all in the past now. But yeah, I never really shared the story time of like going out to College Crush, seeing his family. Oh, one more detail I forgot. When I did go out to Washington, because it was in the middle of nowhere this particular city at one point got lost and i had to call college crush and he was like no help by the way so i had to like figure out and reroute that had happened too oh my gosh i was like terrified and then like college crush told his brother about it his brother was like laughing one other thing i do want to say i loved college crush's sister by the way she was so great she was so sweet i hope like someday like whoever i do get married to like i hope the guy will have siblings i never had siblings growing up i hope the guy is close of his siblings that was also why i kind of really liked like sweater boy because his family was together still together for, like 30 something years married I thought that was really beautiful and sweater boy also had like brothers I don't know just being an only child like I'm just kind of lonely and so it'd be really cool to like have like future in-laws I could be close with someday I hope so whether if it's brothers sisters I don't care it would just be like really nice you know like all my family's mostly on the east coast I'm on the west coast but my parents are divorced there's plenty of times I feel so lonely I don't want to kind of get all emotional but it's true unfortunately college crush and I are like not in touch really anymore I wish them all the best I also wish quarantine boy all the best quarantine boy and I last saw each other we went to karaoke together as i've talked about and i don't know kb and i will hang out again unless if it's like friend group stuff sure but other than that probably not so i always will with kb nothing but the best and the last time i saw a college crush june of 2022 i wish him all the best as well i think of all the history that's built up with both those boys over the years i'm like why does it still affect me i realized like because it all happened again all in this recent year i can't be too hard on myself because it's recent and i'm just trying to like move forward honestly things are going much better now and i think it will continue to get better honestly i have dated other boys 
sense too and that's helped as well because now i have that healing to do that's kind of where everything is all at a huge weight off my chest never expect to share so much tea but here we are i am sweating you guys i'm gonna head out i hope you guys enjoyed this like story time and i will see you guys in my next video bye you guys i love y'all also this is like the saga ending of the whole college crush qb love triangle if you will i don't know it's the end of the era with quarantine boy and cc honestly my stomach is growling <laughs> when a chapter ends a new one begins my life's just crazy and i feel like it's just gonna keep getting crazier just because like that story ended and that crazy time of my life is over it doesn't mean that it's over like there's gonna be more craziness there's gonna probably be more dating stories there's probably gonna be other guys that hit on me i'm just gonna be like eh. you gotta have the right delivery <laughs> honestly the last guy that i thought was really cute was this guy i met at the gym and it didn't work out and i thought about him like non-stop which like that's like so annoying one more thing i actually did tell this new guy at karaoke night when him and i had a moment and like opened up about life at that time like college crush officially took me off social media i was like telling this guy like yeah not gonna lie like it sucked you know because he opened up to me about like his last relationship and i could tell it was hard for him and i was like well i'll open up about someone i liked as well and i mean keep in mind qb was like with me that night and i was like oh no well i didn't know my crush was gonna be there my crush was kind of wishy-washy with going and then he was really cool and understanding and it was like a refreshing conversation like my crush and I had honestly at that time sometimes like you can't help it and like think about it acts like you're healing it's hard it's rough and I was like oh I like this guy so much I'm like he's so cool but until he sees it I will catch you guys in the next video bye guys love y'all hee <laughs> hee